Yeah, I'm going to get on there. Uh, somebody asks, can you expand on proof of work NFTs? Yeah, I'm kind of curious, like, is that that's going to be the same Zen contract? Yeah. How is that? So, so okay, so Zen NFT is a new token, technically, not Zen token, right? Right. But you can use Zen to derive the new one by burning it. So that's what we're doing with, with this release. Now, the proof of work is just another action that the person must do, in this case, cryptographically prove that they have spent a good amount of compute time to generate this NFT. And you need to submit a key to the uh, minter for this new NFT. So you submit your Zen, which you will burn, and then the key that will unlock it. And this key will represent the computer hours. That's how that works. Okay. And we'll, and and is that why you did that stream talking about the renting the GPU? Uh, I know it sounds like that's what it is, <laughs> but it's completely not. I mean, I don't want to say is that the reason why, but like, is that like um, a slow educational, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I didn't know about that until. Yeah. So, so the backstory there is that um, <clears throat> a friend of mine, not, not the dolphin friend, the other friend, <laughs> uh, he's more and more of a krill, uh, uh, crypto krill. He he sends a picture of himself. He, he looks great, like some sort of like a painting or whatever, you know, digital painting. I'm like, dude, how'd you do that? He's like, oh yeah, there's this lens I have that you can uh, you can try. And so I try it, and I make like a hundred pictures of myself that look really great. I'm like, oh, this this AI thing, I really should get into it. It's really cool. How did they do that? So I, you know, when I relax from Zen, I dive into other research, and so I dove into AI back end and how the whole thing runs and and i found this platform that i wanted to investigate and when i started making those pictures i'm like wow this is amazing i should like share it with the rest of the community just so that people can maybe make uh, nfts for themselves at some point later and th they would look good and they do look great so no it has nothing to do with the proof of work of uh um uh, GPU use or anything like that, um, and and the proof of work algorithm is going to be um, mostly not related to to the actual graphics, right? It would be related to math. So, but uh, but yeah, thanks for asking. You got you. Um, let's see, we got some more questions. Um, let's see. That stream though, Jack, that you did with. Uh... Shimrat, I mean that's that was pretty wild. I, I've never I never thought about the supercomputers and being able to like use them in a remote place. It's I mean I it, it's pretty awesome. I definitely want to make more AI art. Yeah, I mean like renting it for twenty cents an hour is just incredible. I was so blown away that it's so easily accessible, and you need to spend zero time installing software. It's like right there installed for you. Mm -hmm. It's wild. Somebody. Uh in YouTube chat said these NFTs, I wanted to bring this up because I know you like the, the troll comments as well. These NFTs are fake burns asking what's really up. Any quick comment on that? Uh, the world domination, of course. That's what's really up. <laughs> so is, is it fake? Is it a fake burn? No, it's real burn. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's on chain verifiable. It's going to be for real. <laughs> yeah. Um, what happens to make the burns in from ZNT when the VMU term matures? Is it gone forever or it behaves like the state Zen and we get it back? So you don't get anything back. You don't lose anything. Your, your, the burn stays, obviously. It's completely gone. So the burn is the burn. It's, it's permanent. There's no way to, to bring it back. Now, when your mat NFT matures, it has the mint that's coming right. and your in your mint may be more or less than what your burn was, but it's not to do with the burn. Uh, those are separate numbers. And so when you mint uh, or mint the matured NFT, it, it, it doesn't expire, but it will get the stamp called redeemed. That is so that people know that if they buy it from you, 
there's no future mint in it. And there's a difference, right? So if you have 400 days mint and you're selling your NFTs within the 200 day window, it has the, obviously the future mint, it's like a yield that, uh, that you get, you get your futures and passed on in the NFT package to someone else, which is part of the game mechanics. Obviously we want, uh, Zen to be more liquid in, on all of the markets, including NFT, which is a vibrant market and somewhat different than the ERC 20 market. So yeah, I mean, world domination through liquidity, basically, basically, I mean, it's a uh, pretty, pretty clear. Right? Um, yeah, I get it. Uh, Powell says, does Jack plan any utility for his NFT or only his NFT are supposed to be collectible? Maybe linking NFT ownership with extra Zen interest. Well, so that's what the uh, proof of mint essentially is. So proof of mint is your future mint encoded into the NFT. That's the utility. The next NFT that's coming is proof of stake. So where if you if you have Zen, you stake it, uh, you can generate an NFT and then sell your stakes. So that's good too. Um, that encourages people to stake because uh, now your Zen is not like sitting around as, as a number, but uh, it's an NFT and uh, it can have exposure to other markets too. Um, and then we're considering just the simple plain vanilla proof of burn but that doesn't do anything, just shows how much you have burned. But it's really the same as proof of stake because the stake also burns. So yeah, I think it's going to be the this uh, Zen Torrent variety that's coming right now is just the proof of mint and also collectible. Then it's going to be the proof of stake and then probably proof of work as well. Um, what kind of GPU power is necessary for these proof of work NFTs? Can we do this on a Raspberry Pi, for example? So you know how it is. The more money you spend on hardware, the faster yeah. it computes. So it's it applies to everything. And and uh, the the algorithm that I'm choosing is um, SHA SHA three, and SHA three is used in the security of uh, Ethereum. So it's very easy to verify the keys because it's it's the basically the same crypt, 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 cryptography that Ethereum is using. So it's kind of like mining Ethereum mm. and you can do it on GPU. So what, what's, what do you think like the minimum would be? The minimum? So it, it really depends. It's, I would, I would think about it the same way how you would think about Zunicorns and limited and, uh, and collectibles. Like collectibles don't cost a lot and uh, obviously limited cost a little bit more than Zunicorns are unaffordable. So it's uh it's going to be the same type of scale where you could be mining on your cpu and then you get a collectible or you could have a mid-range gpu and you could get limited or you could have an array of gpus and and uh, mine for a week or maybe a month and you get something really 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 rare i got so, a 3090 is that good Will oh I... yeah oh yeah that one that you're gonna, you gonna have me set it up uh sure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>